Hi, I'm Alan Harris, and I want to welcome you to Total Circuit Training Yoga. Yoga is an extremely important part of the overall conditioning of your mind, body, and spirit. It relaxes you and greatly increases your flexibility. Now, what I want you to do now is find the time and the place where it's nice and quiet, you have no one to bother you, and remove your socks and shoes because you're now getting ready to go through the workout. I have a fantastic instructor here, Megan, who's going to take you through a 20-minute awesome beginner's yoga workout. Megan, are you ready? I'm ready. Take it away. Hi, welcome to Beginning Yoga. So what we're going to do first is the sun salutation. I'd like you to watch me first, and then you're going to join my group, and you at home are going to join me in the exercise. So first, we're going to go ahead and inhale, bring the arms up, exhale, nice stretch forward. From here, you're going to inhale. On your exhale, you're going to bring your left leg back, then you're going to bring your right leg back. You're going to hold in the plank position. Then you're going to arch into a cobra. And then you're going to exhale and push back to a downward dog. Then you're going to go back to the plank position. Bring your right leg in. Bring your left leg in. And we're going to slowly start to roll up to the starting position. So I want you to go ahead and get up and join my group as we start the sun salutation. Ready? So we're gonna inhale. Nice deep breath through the nose, never stopping breathing. Exhale, diving forward. Take an inhale. Now on your exhale, go ahead and extend your left leg behind you. Now inhale, exhale, extend your right leg back. You're in your balanced plank position. From here, you're gonna inhale. On your exhale, extend into a cobra, lifting the sternum to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, bring your bottoms in the air. Stretch into downward dog. We're now gonna go slowly, inhale, exhale, back into your plank position. Inhale, exhale, bring your right leg in. Now bring your left leg in. Inhale, now slowly pulling those belly muscles in towards your spine, rolling on up to a standing position to start again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, slowly forward bend. Inhale, on your exhale, right leg goes back. Inhale, exhale, left leg goes back. In, exhale through the mouth to the cobra. Inhale, exhale, bottoms up, downward dog. Inhale, exhale to plank. Bring your left foot in. Bring your right foot in. And slowly rolling up to a standing tall position. From here, we're going to go into a warrior pose. So what I want you to do is put your hands on your hips. Take your left foot out to the side. Take your right foot and turn it towards the wall. And you want to bring your arms out to the side. So now you're in, in warrior. From here, we're gonna place our right arm down and take a side angle stretch, reaching the left arm high above the head. From here, go ahead, lunge deeper into warrior. And exhale into side angle. And back to warrior. Now you're gonna go into triangle. So you're gonna straighten the leg, reach the right arm down towards the floor. 
Now if the flexibility doesn't allow you to do that, it is okay to start from either here, your shin, or reach all the way down to the floor. Go ahead and bend the right knee, back to warrior. Now you're gonna go ahead and straighten out the right knee and go back to triangle. So you wanna make sure that those hips stay forward, that arm reaches up to the ceiling, and you rotate the head if you can and look towards your arm. Bring that arm down and you wanna go back to warrior one last time. Good. And from the warrior position, we'll come into a straight leg position. Rotate your toes now back to forward. And we're gonna just slightly bend the spine forward. What I want you to do is really reach those hamstrings nice and long and reach the top of your head all the way forward. From here, you're gonna lower your spine, clasp behind you, and if you can, reach the arms together and stretch out the shoulders. If that's too much for you, you can stay in this position. Now we'll come back out to center and we'll slowly come back up. Left leg rotates, lunge to warrior. From here, you're gonna bend your left arm, place it on your leg and side angle stretch. What you wanna do is create a nice long line from fingertip all the way down to the ankle. She's gonna go back now into warrior. And again, side angle stretch. Remember to breathe. You wanna inhale nice and deep through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good. And now we're gonna go into triangle. You're gonna straighten the leg. Reach the arm down. And remember, if that flexibility doesn't allow, go ahead and place it on your leg, on your shin, or all the way towards the floor. Good, you wanna make sure that this arm is reaching all the way up to the ceiling. You wanna make sure this arm is nice and straight, reaching towards the floor. Hips are forward. Now you're gonna exhale and come right back up to warrior one last time. And now you're gonna come back, rotate the toes back forward. One more forward bend, nice flat back. Clasp the hands, exhale and stretch. Come back into that flat back position. Come all the way up to standing. Bring your feet together. And let's just take a nice deep breath into the nose. And a nice exhale through the mouth. Good, and let's do that one more time. Good, so what we're doing here is just cleansing the body. We're going ahead and filling up the body with good air and we're exhaling all the stressful air. So now we're gonna go into one more sun salutation. Inhale to lift the arms. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, now exhale, bring that right leg back. Bring your left leg back. Now from here, we're gonna go into a seated position. You can go ahead and let my group stay here for a moment. You can go ahead and just bring your feet in and bring your legs in front of you. But what my group is gonna do is turn to the side so you can see what we're doing. So they're gonna bring their right leg up and just sit their bottoms down and face the side. So here we're gonna do a seated forward bend. You wanna flex the feet, bring the arms up, and lean forward. You wanna reach for your toes and you wanna to try to lengthen your spine all the way to a flat position. If that's too challenging, go ahead and put your hands on the shins or on the knees and work up to reaching for the toes. Then you wanna point the toes and hang forward. Now flex the toes and go into flat back. One more, point the toes and leaning forward.
Good, from here, they're gonna sit up nice and tall. Go ahead and rest their hands on their shins. We're gonna take another deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Getting ready to lie down on their back. So they're gonna go ahead and lie down. And what you wanna do is bring your right knee in towards your chest. And then you wanna extend your leg up towards the ceiling. Now, you wanna lie your head all the way down. If that's tough for you, I want you to go ahead and bend your opposite leg. And don't focus so much on stretching the foot all the way to the ceiling, but keeping a small bend of the knee is fine also. From here, they wanna take the inside of their leg, ankle, foot, whatever's comfortable, and they wanna open to the side. So what we're doing is stretching the internal leg. You wanna keep breathing and you wanna make sure both hips stay planted on the ground. From here, they're gonna bring their leg back to straight. Give one more hamstring stretch. So you're, again, you're lengthening from the toes all the way down to the buttocks muscle. Go ahead and bend that knee in. And now we're gonna slide that leg down to the floor and out straight and bring the opposite leg into the chest and up to the ceiling. Good, and you're going to extend up to the ceiling. So I'll use Anna here as an example. So what she wants to do, and what you wanna do at home, is reach the toe to the ceiling. Try to stretch in a straight line all the way down. Again, if that's too challenging, let's start by beginning and bending the knee and bending this knee. This can be your beginning modified posture. Once you get that flexibility after doing yoga every day, you wanna extend this leg all the way out and then straighten this leg back to the ceiling. You wanna go ahead and take the inner part of the foot now and you're gonna to open to the side. So again, you don't wanna to open too far. Only go to what's comfortable for you. Keeping both hips down. Again, if you wanna bend this knee, that's fine also. Never work to pain, only work to what's comfortable. Straighten this leg, bring the leg back to center. Good, give it one more big stretch of that hamstring. Good, bend that knee, thank you Anna, and extend that leg all the way back out straight. Now what you're gonna do is a back stretch. So you're gonna fold both knees into your chest for me, and you're gonna bring both legs now up to the ceiling and place your arms by your side. You're gonna go ahead and if it's comfortable for you, let your legs come up and over. That's it. Now what we wanna to work to is lowering the toes all the way to the floor. Now, again, this is an advanced exercise. If you wanna keep it at a beginning state, what you wanna do is just lying down, bring your knees into your chest and kind of stay there. And then we'll work to going in the up and over position. For us beginners, we'll stay in this position. So now you're gonna go ahead and bend the knees and start to lower yourself back down into the lying down plank position. Good. This is called corpse pose. So from here, you wanna go ahead again, deep breath into the nose, exhale through the mouth, letting all the muscles and bones kind of melt into the floor. And again, one more deep breath into the nose and out through the mouth. Now you're gonna to start to begin to roll yourself up to a seated position, just as we were. Point the toes, bring the arms up, and we'll do the forward bend again. What I want you to do is just relax your body. I don't want this to feel painful. I really want you just to relax into the stretch. Flex the feet, lengthen the spine. Try to lift up nice and tall. Keep your neck nice and long. Keep your shoulders down the back. 
Exhale and point. Now you're going to slowly roll yourself back up to tall, and we're going to do a rotation stretch. So I want you to take your left leg, cross it over your right knee. Place your right, your left hand, I'm sorry, on the floor. Take your right hand across. Take your elbow against your knee and just rotate your spine, trying to get both shoulders facing forward. I want you to feel like you have a puppet string attached to your head and you're just dangling off of the string, lengthening your spine, trying to put space between each one of your vertebrae. Slowly come out of that, face back forward, one more forward bend to release the spine. And come on up to seated and we'll cross the other leg. So right leg over left knee, place the left arm across, place the right arm behind you and rotate. Good, you wanna make sure both shoulders are stretching forward, make sure that spine is nice and lifted and you're breathing of course. Now return back to center, slowly unravel your spine, arms up, forward bend. Rolling back up to that tall position, we're now gonna go into forward warrior. So you're gonna cross your right leg over your left knee, use your hands for support to get up, and you're going to go ahead and lean yourself forward. Place both hands on your knee and just lift your sternum up to the ceiling. If you want to advance this exercise, you can bring both arms up, clasp together, or reach the fingertips to the ceiling and slightly arch the back. What this is gonna do is really work your balance in the body as well as strengthening and stretching the muscles. Place both hands back onto the knee. Place both hands back to the floor, and we're gonna switch knees. Placing both hands up, lift the sternum to the ceiling. Make sure both hip bones are facing forward. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, slight arch. Bring both hands back down to the knees. Place both hands back down. And bring yourself back to the hands and knees to our rest position. Place your hands behind your back and just lower your bottom towards your heels and rest your forehead towards the floor. Now you're gonna go ahead and come up into cat pose. And you're going to come onto all fours and you're going to round your spine. Look towards your belly button and round your back up to the ceiling. And then you're going to arch your back. So you're gonna look forward and create a slight arch in the back. Exhale and round. You want to scoop the belly muscles. Look towards your belly button. Exhale and arch. Now you want to come into a neutral position. Curl your toes under you and start to roll up.
We're going to face forward and we're going to do sun salutation one more time to end our class. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, now exhale, bring your left leg behind you. Bring your right leg behind you. Let's balance in plank. Now we're going to inhale through the nose, exhale, and arch into cobra. Inhale, exhale, downward dog. Stretch out the spine, stretch out the legs. Reach your heels to the floor. Go back into plank. Bend your right knee in. Bring your left leg in, slowly rolling up. We'll do one more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, exhale, bring your left leg behind you. Bring your right leg back. Exhale into Cobra. And up into Downward Dog. Now, for those of us that may be slightly more advanced, if you want to bring your legs slightly apart, take your left leg, lift it up into the air for an increased stretch and strength move. Bring that leg down. Let's do the other side. And bring that leg down. Go back into plank. Bring your right knee in. Bring your left knee in. And roll on up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring the arms down. Good, take one deep inhale through the nose. Exhale. And thank you for joining us today for our basic yoga workout.